Monterey Bay is obviously world famous for its amazing diversity of wildlife. The ability that we have here to go out just a couple of miles in the ocean and see countless species of marine mammals and birds is just unprecedented. Now there are other aquaria around that serve various purposes, but one of the real strong suits of the Seymour Center is that they highlight the research that's occurring at UC Santa Cruz. So you can go there and learn exactly what researchers are doing out here in the field today, and you can get that nowhere else. Mainly I'm a marine science communicator and I learned how to do that. Uh, here at the Seymour Center, I'd be up on campus learning about very complicated invertebrate zoology and then I'd come down here and have to translate that to the amazing docents that are here so that they could share that knowledge with the visitors to the Seymour Center. I was a, a young undergraduate that had really not had much experience, uh, just starting to take classes. And I saw that the, there was a unique opportunity to be an intern at the brand new Seymour Marine Discovery Center. It was, just opened its doors. From day one, I wanted to go to UC Santa Cruz. It was the only college I applied for. I wanted to do marine biology. And then getting to come here and seeing all of our invertebrates in our labs and our animals out in the exhibit hall, I wanted to learn about it and know about it and be able to teach people about it. I think that the Seymour Center is, is what made me realize that um, science is really important and it's important to me, but it's communicating science that's the end point of what I do. One of the most inspiring tours I ever got to lead here was with a group of blind students working with the Marine Mammal Cognition Group. The Marine Mammal Cognition Group studies how sea otters, elephant seals, and other animals find their way through that open ocean. And these blind students showed them that certain people are also able to echolocate, just like the dolphins that we have next door. It's never the same. It's always different every day. Every person or kid that walks in the door has a different idea about the ocean or a different question. And so I just get to talk about the ocean all day long, which is what I love to do. Just with all of the smartphones and, and other gadgets that kids can play with today, it's really neat to see them get so interested in marine life. And it's because the Seymour Center is able to bring that life directly to kids. They can feel them, they can touch them, they can have that visceral sensory experience. It's always like, this is the best field trip ever, or they get to the table and they see an animal that's alive and that they can touch and that right there, their face just like lights up because that's not something that they get to do every day, especially with kids that come from over the hill and some of them have never been to the ocean. Everything is just this absolutely incredible life experience for them. The first time I came to Ocean Explorers, I was kind of in awe on all that I was able to learn and do. We were mainly focusing on tide pools and how all these nudibranchs are still able to survive with just being able to move with the currents and I was just so amazed by all of it and I was really inspired to persevere. Well, my favorite exhibit would probably be the experiment that they did by giving the male elephant seal different calls from different male elephant seals. you can actually tell the different calls from the different mates and potential mates because not all the time they mate. I really enjoyed working with all of the harbor seals and especially having the experience to get a smooch from one of the seals. That was pretty amazing. One of my smooches was from Sprouts, and Sprouts doesn't vacuum his food. He chews it, so there were quite a few fish guts on his face, um, which is a little stinky, but it didn't, it almost added to the joy of being able to get a kiss from one of the seals. Not only did the Seymour Center help me find my dream for science, it helped me find 
my husband. Um, so, hello. <laughs> um, I came out to Año Nuevo to do elephant seal research and I happened to find someone who loves stinky seals and early morning field work and snacks as much as I do. So it's been a pretty great six years so far. <laughs> If anyone's interested in a career in marine science, just find a place like the Seymour Center that can get you close to the ocean, and you'll eventually find your own niche in this huge world of marine science, whether it be communication, in the lab. And it's more important now than ever with the threats of climate change and overfishing, so many things happening to the ocean. Now's the best time to get involved, and I know that I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing without the Seymour Center here.